It's time for Wild About Trial, where two lawyers square off on the most interesting legal cases going on around the country right now. With us today, attorneys and Crime Watch Daily legal contributors, Misty Maris and Jesse Weber. All right, you ready? Ready to go. go. Earlier in the show, we told you about the case of Rebecca Fenton, who was charged with murdering her husband and sentenced to life in prison without parole. Rebecca not only has denied having any part of this, but is now appealing the court's decision, and people are torn. Misty, let's start with her defense. She points out that there was no physical evidence or DNA linking her to this crime. Absolutely, Chris, and that's why you're going to see an appeal in this case. There is no forensic evidence. This was based solely on circumstantial evidence. She's vehemently denied committing this crime since the beginning. And think about how long it took for the prosecution to build their case. Six years, it was flimsy at best right from the get-go. Jesse, we've seen cases where people are charged with no DNA evidence. And I have to tell you, Misty, I'm going to disagree with you again. There is a lot pointing to her. Let's talk about the fact that when this first happened, she said she went to the, her husband who was shot. There was a pool of blood, and she went to check his pulse. The pool of blood was undisturbed. She had no blood on her clothing or anything like that. The gun, the gun that shot her husband was found in her car. It was found in her car. So what makes more sense? This is a common sense kind of case, Chris. A magical intruder comes into the house, ransacks the whole house, nothing was taken, planted the gun in her car, or did she kill him? Jesse, what makes more sense? What person who's committing a crime and thinks this all out is gonna plant the gun in their own car? Clearly, there could be somebody else to play. And the other Are you issue, saying everybody that commits way, a crime is a genius? Why is there not Lo one fingerprint? She was why untruthful. Why is there not one piece she was of forensic evidence? Why was the blood undisturbed? Why was the gun in her Jesse, car? What that really broke this story was this investigator who looked at this case, looked at all the evidence, spoke to her ex-boyfriend, who said to him, she was in another relationship, let's not forget that, and he said, she threatened to kill me with a knife the same way that she said she killed Larry. First now, but, but, but Misty, Jesse. Misty, Misty, there are, is evidence linking her to this crime. That is what really broke it. There are two big issues with that. So first of all, th they said that she was having an affair with somebody during her marriage, but she's adamantly denied it, said that's just a friend. The boyfriend that you're referring to is after the fact. That should have she, never so how do you come in what she, to a court How do you explain law. what he said? She said I, that she never said it. So it is a he oh, said, she said convenient. situation. Well, all right, let's but talk maybe this is a, a, a lover who's been a jilted lover who's now trying to he make has no her reason pay. To lie. That he has should no reason never to lie. be admitted in a court of law. It's after the fact. It's irrelevant. And if it's the basis for her conviction, then there is a serious appealable issue. Let's talk about motive here. Rebecca claims she had nothing to gain from her husband's murder. Right. So the issue here is that in their prenup, if he dies, she stands to get $1 million. Chris, let's take a step back. She was living a lavish lifestyle with her husband. She actually would have more financial benefit having him around alive. So the fact that this $1 million is at play is just not indicative of anything. Misty, she, so glad you brought that up. If they divorced, she would not get what she would have gotten if he died, a $1 million. We've seen motivations like this before for people to kill. Now, is that the reason why he is dead? I don't know, but it's a sure good well, motive. At the end of the day, what do you guys think? Uh, happens with the appeal. I don't think that she has a chance. We've seen cases, we talk about post-conviction relief, we talk about appeals, that is a very high burden, and there is nothing that I see from this case that would grant her a release from prison. Misty. It's a very high burden to go against the weight of the evidence of what the jury found, I agree with you there, but if there was any legal or judicial error specifically with respect to the testimony of these people who were coming in after the fact, then she's got some grounds for a successful appeal. So what do you think? Did Rebecca Fenton kill her husband, Larry? Sound off right now on our Facebook page. For more on these stories, please go to wildabouttrial.com or our website, crimewatchdaily.com. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at crimewatchdaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, Remember, we are watching.